Hello there, my name is Paul Grant and I'm a musician and founder of an online resource called Creative Flow Evolution. And what I do is help people who have their passions and projects on the back burner, build the energy and momentum to do a love and life. And I do this by sharing tools and ideas to support focus and productive flow. Now, in this video I'd like to share with you how photo reading changed my life and how it improved my learning capability. Now, for any ambitious learner, whether you're a student or somebody who wants to learn and master a new subject area, it can often feel overwhelming to learn all the material we need with the resource we have. Because with so many books and articles online and the market for any given subject, how do we find the time and the energy to reach that target? So keep watching because I'm about to reveal to you how photo reading can actually work. Now, the conscious mind can process up to 40 bits per second, which is a lot. However, the subconscious mind can process 40 million bits per second, which is much, much more. And the photo reading strategy actually utilizes that. Back in my school days, which is a long, long time ago now, um, I experienced quite a bit of frustration, a lot of stress as well, with my learning capability and speed. I often felt as if I had to work much harder than other kids to achieve the same level of results. Now, things improved for me when I went to college because I learned how to relax more and also I had more purpose behind my education. And it's always good to have purpose behind what we wish to achieve in life. Now, even so, even then, I spent a lot of my college um, school holidays catching up with reading material. And throughout most of my adulthood, I had trouble completing a book. That was until I learned how to photo read. And I'm about to reveal why. Now, photo reading is a five-step process devised by a guy called Paul Sheely, who introduced it about 20 years ago. And Paul Sheely is an expert in the field of accelerated learning. Now, under the right supervision, anyone can learn how to use this strategy to read up to a capacity of 25,000 words per minute or even more, whilst re extracting and recording information suitable for their purpose of reading the book in the first place. Now, this is partially achieved by using a soft focus approach or expanded vision whilst reading the book. Here's an example of um, photo reading. As you can see, I'm flicking through the pages fairly quickly here. And my subconscious mind is taking a snapshot of the information. Now, it's an idea for you to experience um, expanded vision yourself if you haven't done so. And to do this, if you hold your fingers in front of your, your eyes, uh, and just a few inches away from your face, and keep your fingers closed but not connected, and then, uh, then allow your vision to expand as if you could see the whole of the room, even the four corners. Now, whilst you're doing this, notice in the middle that there's almost like a floating sausage between the fingers. And when you see this, you know that you're in expanded vision which is what you'll be using to capture the information. But there's much more to the process than that. Now I'm going to give you an overview of the five simple steps to photo read. Now, photo reading is a state-dependent activity. So the first part is to prepare. And this purely involves um, allowing yourself to relax, become into a state where you're fully absorbed by what you're doing. Now, how you can do this is first is sort of count yourself down. Uh, well, here's an example. I say to myself, free. I'm feeling relaxed. Two, feeling more relaxed. One, feeling totally relaxed. My body and my face all calm. And then I allow myself to actually imagine a town dream above the head. Now, it's interesting that this position towards the back of the head is the most important part, um, most powerful part for the mind to process information. And what it also allows, if you allow a tangerine to float on this part of the head, it allows you to focus on what you're doing. Now the idea is, is to keep relaxed as much as you can do, because what you're doing is bypassing the rational mind to allow the subconscious mind to extract the information. Now, what you're also doing is effectively, um, you need to state a purpose reading book, because it allows the mind to focus on what you need. Now the second part is called a preview. Now this basically involves scanning over the information, like the front part of the cover, the back, um, the contents, and I've looked at the index pages as well. 
So what you're doing is just establishing to see if this book is suitable for you to learn what you need to learn. Because if it's not, you might as well read something else. But when you're, when you're comfortable that a book is suitable for you, effectively, photo reading is the next step. Now, like I explained earlier, we use expanded awareness to focus on the pages. And what we do is allow to rhythmically breathe and relax into that state. Keep motion of the room above the head. And once we're doing this, we flip through the pages in a sort of um, rhythmic order. Now, once we get towards the end of the book, um, this is perhaps what I call super photo reading, joking. When we get to the end of the book, what we do is turn the book around and do the same again, but in reverse manner. Because what's particularly interesting is that the human mind can actually read words upside down. Try it for yourself some stage. Now, when we get to the end of the book, um, that's the photo reading done. Now, the next part of it is the, to um, preview the actual book. Now, what this means is that, like the second step, you just go over the front cover, the back, the contents, just to reconnect to the structure of the book. Because what we're effectively doing here is um, allowing us to use the reticular activating system, which is part of the brain, which uh, acts as a, like a, a goal-setting mechanism to allow you to achieve the information you need. And it allows us to, to link the subconscious mind to the conscious mind. It's quite powerful. Now, preview, basically, what we do is actually um, pick out trigger words that appear at a blue when we're looking at pages. How we do this is that we use a super reading method by moving a finger down the centre of the page. Every 20 pages, for example, and what you notice is that anything that pops out of blue, any particular words or phrases that seem to highlight themselves, you write them down. So what we do, we create a list of trigger words using this super reading technique. Once we've got our list together, and I won't spend much more than that two to three, three minutes perhaps on, on doing that, we use these trigger words to help us formulate some questions um, using like how, what, when, for example, and write these questions as if you're going to ask the author himself. This also allows us to be more specific on what we need from the book. Uh, again, it allows our mind to, to focus on that. Then the next part is called the activation part. But before we do this, we normally take a break from material. Because what we allow is the mind to actually incubate the and process the information. It's good to have at least 20 minutes break from the preview section before we activate. Even more ideal is to sleep over overnight. Because whilst we're sleeping, the subconscious mind fixes patterns from what we learned during the day. And that applies to everything. Now, when we perhaps wake up the next morning, we do the activation process. What this allows us is to bring into the conscious mind what we've already learned by photo reading. Brilliant, excellent. So what we do here, uh, we use a variety of reading techniques, including super, super reading, rapid reading, skittering and dipping, which effectively allows us to extract information that suits the questions. And we do this intuitively. Now, what I mean by is intuitively, we get a feel for the book. Because our subconscious mind already knows what's in here, we know where the answers are sitting. We just need to allow that to happen whilst being in a relaxed state. Now, what I find is that when I've attended the courses, I've been twice to refine my skills, I found it really amazing to see how people transform their beliefs. To say, oh, how can I change my normal way of reading to this, this totally almost reverse, reverse approach? Now, sometimes I get people approaching me, asking me, Paul, how do you know that photo reading works for you? Well, the answer I give to that is that whenever people ask me questions on any topics that I've studied through photo reading, I can somehow spontaneously come out with these not really specific answers. Sometimes it feels like I don't know where it came from, but I know it's in my subconscious mind and activated through their questions. And you know, when people actually ask me these questions, I come out with this information. I could tell how much interest they are and how impressed they are by the way they move forward to me with their eyes wide and totally engaged in what I have to say. And I think it's an amazing experience to be able to share what I know quite fluently. So, you know, my advice again, if you want to expand your knowledge and improve your reading um, ability, I strongly advise you learn the five steps of photo reading within a, trained, a training environment and with groups of people who are learning at the same pace. Now the courses cost about £500 or $600 
and it takes a few days to actually properly learn it. Now, what I suggest, you can look at um, or Google for local um, photo, photo reading practitioners or look at the links below this video which gives you some useful contacts. Now I suggest that if you have any questions you want to ask me, um, go to my website by clicking on the link on the video, just to put my finger here, the link goes to my website, um, press the button and ask me any questions you wish, even share your experiences on any photo reading. So I'd like to say thank you for watching the video and I wish you every success with your photo reading journey. All the best.